fast, physical, definitely one of the best defenses we've seen so far. So uh, it's a great challenge for us, but uh, you know we're working hard and preparing for it. What uh, what specific defenders on film have kind of you know stood out to you so far? Yeah, definitely their uh, their linebackers, just the whole D line, uh, pretty solid. You know, veteran group, veteran group of guys. They know they're, what they're doing. Uh, they have a lot of experience. So, uh, you know, we just got to do our jobs, though, at the end of the day and uh, move the ball. What's the confidence level of the offense right now coming off the Indiana game? You know, we're confident. Uh, we're working to be perfect on offense, perfect our jobs, do your job every play. You know, you can't have any mistakes, no penalties, no turnovers. And, you know, we got to move the ball and score touchdowns. Michigan success running the ball this past week. How how does how do you look at that? Looking back as far as what you've been able to do as far as run blocking. Yeah, uh, you know it's definitely great to see Quran. You know, get all those yards, take advantage of our blocks, and uh, you know we bust our ass for him so we can get those yards and touchdowns, open up them holes. So uh, and hopefully that helps us in the pass game play action this week. So uh, you know we definitely emphasizing run blocking. How hard is it to communicate on offense when a stadium is, you know, as loud as Beaver Stadium usually is? Yeah, it's it's a little difficult, but you know, we practice that in practice. We uh, we got crowd noise pumped in when we're running drills and stuff like that. So uh, we're prepared for it, and uh, we'll be ready. When you drop in the rankings, and I'm sure you've heard some of the outside noise and everything. What is that? Do you, do you, does it put an extra chip on your shoulder or anything of that nature going into a game like this? You know, either way, we would be uh, pumped up to play Penn State. They're a great team. Um, rankings aside, doesn't matter. We're just trying to win every game. And the next game is the biggest game, is what Coach Harbaugh says. So uh, every week, just trying to win that game. Is there something in that light going into this game? Is there something, anything to prove, do you feel, as an offense? I wouldn't say prove. Just, uh, just got to be consistent, do our jobs every play. Um, prove that we can be an elite offense to go along with our elite defense. How have things been different for the offense with John in there as opposed to Wilton? I wouldn't say it's been much different. Uh, you know, we run the same plays, running and passing, so uh, not, not much of a difference. Obviously, you guys don't want to get your second loss. Do you feel like the season's on the line in some ways? You know, like I said before, uh, every, every game is the biggest game this week, so... Uh, Obviously, we don't want to lose. We want to win every game and get to the Big Ten Championship. What do you guys What do you guys got to do to, get, to help out John in the passing game, specifically or individually? Uh, like I talked before, the whole offense has to do their job in every play. We can't have any mistakes, no penalties, no turnovers. Uh, we have consistently do our job to perfection every play. I would say it's shocking the world. Uh, you know, we're confident that we're an elite team, and uh, we just got to do our jobs. You know, we're we're going to be prepared to go in there on Saturday, and if we all do our jobs and execute like I know we can, then uh, we'll come out on top. I feel like that status as being part of the, the college football elite is a little bit in jeopardy. No, I wouldn't say it's in jeopardy. I mean, this is Michigan. We have one of the best head coaching staffs in the nation. You know, great players here. So I wouldn't say that. Your team's offensive line, you know, from your perspective and in working with them, how have you kind of seen them mature so far and so much this season? Yeah, they definitely come together. Uh, you know, they were a little inexperienced at the beginning, I would say. But uh, just in practice, they've been really – working hard with uh, Coach Drevno and Coach Fry and uh, definitely coming together on all our run plays and mastering them. They have a little more pep in their step this week after putting up big numbers like that. I mean, you guys really rode their backs to win there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, they did a great job on Saturday against Indiana and uh, hoping we can keep that up against Penn State. How have you seen Greg Fry impact the line in particular? You know, he just brings a uh, different coaching style uh, to the O-line different uh, techniques that he's developed over the years. So uh, I think he's definitely helped out the tackles a lot. That's who he works with mostly. But, um, yeah, he's definitely helped out the O-line with Coach Dubno.